Hey, what's up everybody out there in YouTube land? Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief here once again on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Star date 5-11-11. What's going on today? Well, Intel introduces their new Z68 Express chipset. What is a Z68 chipset? Well, everybody knows that previously the P67 chipset, it came into market, had a few problems, got recalled, and then came back out. That kind of killed things with Intel for that. So what they've done is they've gone back to the drawing board and reinvented a new chipset that incorporates all the things of the P67 and H67 chipsets into one new chipset called the Z68 Express chipset. So let's go in and check out the features of this and see what the new Z68 is all about. Here we take a look at the Intel Z68 Express chipset platform platform block diagram. This shows you basically the layout of how the chipset is going to be on a motherboard. Then we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at this next screen which shows the Intel Z68 Express chipset and this shows the overclocking things you're going to be able to do with the i5 and i7 2600K and 2500K processors. There's also a few other processors that are also going to be able to do this, the 24 and 23s and the i5. And then you're also going to fully unlock core. And one of the things that's really cool about this is that you have unlocked processor graphics. Previously on the P67, you could not overclock the graphics whatsoever, but on the new Intel Z68, you're fully available to overclock both your GPU and your CPU together. The way you'll be able to switch between your onboard graphics and your discrete graphics is using the Lucid Logic's Virtue GPU virtualization process. This offers dynamic switching between the built-in processor graphics and high-end 3D performance discrete graphics cards. This is ideal for gamers who require high-resolution gaming and want to still enjoy built-in media features of second-generation Intel Core processors. One of the really interesting things about the new Z68 chipset is Intel's Rapid Storage Technology 10.5. Now, this features capabilities up to 2.2 terabytes of HDD RAID, and you can use the SATA 6 gigabit connectors for this as well. You also can use RAID 0, 1, 5, and 10. You also can use Intel's new Smart Response Technology. Now, what this does is this takes using a standard hard drive and one of the new 311 drives from Intel, this is the new SSD drive, to get almost SSD performance off using just a standard hard drive in conjunction with the new 311 SSD drive. Another really cool thing that Intel is now offering is the identity protection technology. Previously, you had to use an external key or some type of like that that actually generated a dynamic code to keep people from hacking into your computer. Now Intel offers this technology right in the system itself through your CPU. So what this does when you go onto an online thing like a bank or you go to like a media thing like Facebook, this thing has a code that only you know that makes it so that when you go there, it identifies you as you. Nobody else can use it. So like say that somebody goes to some strange computer and tries to log in as you, if you have it set to use this technology, people will not be able to do that whatsoever. Pretty cool stuff. So let's just wrap it up real quick about this as introduction. You get better features on both your graphics, overclocking, memory support, get great new deal of features as far as using your hard drive in conjunction with an SSD with smart response technology. Intel's also releasing their new 311 series of SSD drives. These are really cool fast drives to be used as a caching sequence with your hard drive. Now, if you want more information about this, you can actually go on down to the description of the video and you can go over and check this actual written review out over on my website.